Hi, Epek. Is that how I pronounce it? Yes. How? How are you? I'm good, thanks. So I'm Justin, the the founder of Loggy. Um, and uh, thanks for booking this demo. I'm interested to learn about Golden Key International Honor Society and, and kind of where you may want to use uh, video collection tools. So tell me a bit about yourself and about, about the company. Yeah, for sure. So I'm Epek and I'm a four-year student uh, at McGill University. I'm at this club called the Golden Key International Honor Society. So every year we choose one student and one executive team member who will get a scholarship. So we receive lots of video submissions of students explaining why they deserve or need the scholarship. And last term we received hundreds of video applications and it was really challenging to categorize and put every video in one folder um, with the right names. And we had to work on hours on Canva to edit and format the videos. It was also very challenging to get everyone's votes on the videos because we we're going to decide who was going to get the scholarship as a team. So we used a platform called WhatsApp, obviously, where a lot of messages were unread. So it took longer to come to a decision. So we were looking at ways that would make this process easier. And we come across Bloggy. Luckily for you, that is a perfect use case <laughs> of what, a, what we actually have a lot of scholarships uh, using us for exactly that use case. But you know what? I'm going to jump into the demo. Uh, do you have a phone there? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, well, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to uh, show you inside the Vloggy Studio. Um, okay, so can you see that uh, QR code? Yes, I can. Okay, so I want you to scan that QR code and this is really the experience that your uh, potential audience would uh, would see. So this is, this is essentially a video form that your students or anyone applying for the scholarship would see. Um, if, you, if you scan that QR code and then go through the steps and then I'll, I'll show you how we got there. All right. Yes, I scanned it. Okay, so we should ask you to either record a video on your phone or to upload a file. So if you just like record a video um, now and then. All right. Hello. And then you'll see that you, right. you you tick a box that basically says that you're assigning the rights of, of that video over to, in this case, us. But in your case, that would be them assigning the rights over to you. Um, oh, that's 20. amazing. That would save a lot of time for us. Uh, and then just, I think we've just asked your, uh, your name and your organization. All right. I'm filling those in. All right. Yes, they completed the submission. Okay, so let me show you where they land. You'll see that your video has already hit our, our servers. Um, and basically, it's there in seconds. So essentially... Um, Hello. So what you'll see there is that uh, about a minute before this call, I went and grabbed the logo of the Golden Key International Honor Society. Mm -hmm. So it means that you can watermark every video that comes in. You don't need to take them into Canva or anywhere afterwards. And you see that we've already applied the name that you gave um, on top of the video. So you can attribute every every video that comes in. So it does it automatically? It does we it automatically. Don't have to. No. Wow, that's amazing. That would save a lot of time. And then the other thing you'll notice is that you uploaded a uh, portrait video. Um, so we yeah. blur the sides. What this means is it doesn't matter what orientation anybody uploads a video, square or mm. landscape or or horizontal. It means that you can use all of the videos together um, in a standardized format. That, um, oh, that, okay. So that's that's, that's very of, useful. That's that's the basic uh, functionality. But let me let me show you a little bit more. So essentially, um, as you can see, these are all uh, my demo account. I'm going to take you into another project, another demo project, just to show you what happens. Basically, um, once you start getting applications in, it will build a map so you can see visually um, where your applications are coming from. And then 
one, you can actually start to tag them either manually or automatically with your um, particular, um, whatever means anything to you. So for example, if you wanted just to uh, down select all those from females, you press this and any of those which are tagged female would come up. Um, it may be that something like California means something to you, right? So you, you can apply whatever tags you want. So I'm guessing in your use case, it would be like what year um, yes. and what school they are. Again, we don't determine what, the, what uh, these tags are. You determine that. And you can even preload them at the front. So you could actually, if you have a, a finite list, you could preload them at the front so that then all of your videos are completely categorized. Amazing. That That's very useful because when we are collecting videos, we ask about the students' majors, year of study, names, and so on. So that's not amazing so far. So so, so that, that is essentially what you'd put in the, in the form. And then all of that categorization would be there for you. Um, the other thing to, to notice is that there's a few ways of creating shortlists. <clears throat> One is your own shortlist. So this heart button is when you log into your account, you can see, you can heart those ones that you like, and then you can just show the favorites. So you can make a, a quick short list like that. But then we also have this feature here where you can invite your whole team to actually also vote. And then this becomes accumulative. So you see this lady here uh, has 26 votes. So she's the winner, um, mm -hmm. slightly, slightly in front of this guy on 25. So essentially, you can have a, a voting panel, which means that you can then automatically um, track the, the best entries. Does that kind of does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when we're using WhatsApp, like no one would read the messages and it would get like skipped. So this actually is very useful for our um, use case. This is amazing. Yeah, it would save a lot of time. Um, and just to show you um, how we got there, so. Um, for this project, you would have seen um, you, you would have seen this landing page here. Now, mm -hmm. this is completely customizable to to your organization. So you change the the work, you change the name, you change the logo, you change the project. So this might be um, whatever. And you, what you see is that the actual uh, it actually changes the uh, the landing page as you type. Uh, you change the picture and all of the colors and fonts would be there. So when you first set up a, a, an account with Vloggy, um, we get your um, URL and we take your colors and fonts and logos from that, which means that you don't have to set up anything. Basically, it's all automatically set up. Um, but you can change all of these uh, words. Um, you can add project rules, um, a link to terms and conditions. So basically, it's a really flexible, dynamic landing page that mm -hmm. makes it look and feel like yours. You can even actually have a welcome video um, if that makes more sense for your audience. Um, That's amazing. Is there is there a certain time period that we can make it accessible to students? Right. Ah uh, yes, so you can actually add an expiry date, and after that, okay, um, it won't accept any more uh, videos. And okay, that's amazing. Yes, there. and you can even not for your project, but for we have um, people use this in marketing who add a prize, mm -hmm. right? So typically, what they do is they add a um, they, they add a, a prize here, um, and mm -hmm. that automatically builds into the uh, into the thing. And then you can actually add a coupon code at the very end. Um, so you can automatically give them the, the coupon. Okay. Um, wow. Now, so that's kind of, that's how you build the landing page. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I'll just give you a quick preview. If somebody opens it on a desktop, they also get a slightly different experience. Um, they, uh, they, it goes into a web webcam view so you see here you're seeing me twice but this is essentially they get a countdown three two one and then they get to uh, record and stop. one and then they get to uh, record one and then they get to uh, record uh, and they can either, <laughs> they can either do that again by cancelling that or upload okay. that so essentially mm -hmm. This this is a platform that works either on desktops with a webcam or um, via via a mobile phone. We don't really care. Okay. And 
I'm going to take you back here. So you're only asking one question, but we do have um, several customers that use this and, and have multiple questions. So then it works mm -hmm. with a video questionnaire. So basically it will ask one question and then it will play the next question. and the sec So this is a way to really get more in-depth surveys. That doesn't sound okay. like a use case, but um, that is a function in there as well. Um, yeah, that's very useful. Mm -hmm. And Sometimes then, we ask for two videos, uh, yeah. two tasks. So that would be really useful in our case as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, um, on the for the data you collect, essentially you have to collect uh, the name because what happens is we um, we ask their name and we also record the IP address. And the combination of those two okay. things are stored in your uh, consent reform, a uh, consent report. And that's a legally binding document. And you, by asking okay. them, you have taken every reasonable step to actually verify their identity. Um, that's they, awesome. Yeah. They could have write Mickey Mouse in there, but you have taken every, every step. Okay. Um, but apart from that, all the other fields are completely customizable. So there's some common ones that people ask, like mm -hmm. company name, uh, email uh, for, for lead generation, and location. Mm -hmm. The location will pick it up automatically from the mobile phone footage. But you may want to have other details for your uh, form. So you may have um, a year of study uh, and anything like that comes onto the form. And that's your mm -hmm. data for you to, for you to keep. Wow. Then, yeah, seems amazing. And then so finally, quiet. finally, um, you would have been directed back to our website, but typically mm -hmm. you you would send them back to yours. We don't we don't own your customers. You do, um, or your yeah your members in in this case. So you would send them back to whatever page you want to send them to. Um, and for example, I have a question. Sure. Um, if I if we wanted to download the videos, how do we do that? Let me show you. Okay, so um, all your videos sit in your library um, and there's a mm -hmm. few different ways to download them. One is you can uh, either you, you can select those ones you want um, and then go to bulk download and it will either mm -hmm. zip it up and put it into your downloads folder or it okay. will if you, if you have Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive connected, it will put it into there. So that's okay. one way of doing it. But another cool way might be for you to actually create a story automatically in the in the in the studio. So you again, you select those ones. Okay. You would hit create story. You can um, move them around. Mm. Give it a title. So uh, you can even like add a video intro, uh, a video outro. Uh, you can change transitions between the, the different clips. And you can okay. also add an audio soundtrack. Um, and then it's just a matter of once you've done that, you then hit save and create story. And it will sit down here uh, in your in your in your stories and downloads. So it will mm -hmm. merge them together and and uh, and then available for download. So that's how you would download a story. But if you want to download just individual ones, I think like I said, yeah. um, you would First of all, uh, favorite those ones to to have a uh, to have a short list, and then individual ones. Oh. You can download either in high definition, standard definition, clean, or the raw files. Um, or okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can select multiples, and then go to a bulk download. Bulk download. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, do you have any any more questions? Um, let me see. So the pages design we can design it. What, however, we like the we can use the colors that we want. Yep. Um, so this would be right. your, your colors and fonts and your logo. So this would look mm -hmm. like you, you like your like golden key. Okay, and don't we don't have to send consent forms. So no. it's generated. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes sense. That will save a lot of time. Yep. So you don't have to go chasing them for consent. All right. Amazing. This looks great. Yeah. We will definitely consider using it for our next scholarship applications. Great. Okay. Thank you. I'll 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 get you set up. Amazing. Thank you. We'll keep in touch.
see you bye